Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronax and this is my third account on the Europe server. I have what is required for a Moonlight Summon and this is just before the patch note for uh, the uh, episode 2, God Killer and Fallen Cecilia is in the list. So I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna do it. Wait, not here. I'm just gonna try to get her. I mean, one summon, you never know, it's 0.22727% chance to get her. So, yeah, I'm just gonna try. Just gonna try. But to be honest, I mean, there, there are so many good heroes. I just have uh, Church of Ilrios Axe, Chaosic Axe. That's all I have. I pulled two of him so far. That's all I have on my Europe account in terms of Moonlight Heroes. But yeah, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. There's so many good heroes. Oh, four star, no way. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, oh my God, so there are lots. No way. She's so good. She's God tier, man. She's God tier. Auxiliary lots. It's one of the best Moonlight hero in the game, boys. One of the best. Yo, this account was not set up to farm Wyvern. This account was not set up to farm Wyvern. I've got to farm Wyvern now. It's all about getting speed on auxiliary lots. And yo, I have Chaos Akax. Like, he's fully powered up. I can have her give him combat readiness. And it's over, man. He's gonna skill two. He's gonna blow up someone, hopefully. I mean, against speed cleave teams. He, he's definitely killing someone. There's so many like three, four stars and like squishy five star heroes in there. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Yo, auxiliary lots. That's better than Fallen Cecilia. Oh my. I mean, Fallen Cecilia would have been crazy, don't get me wrong. But it's auxiliary lots. On a new account, this Europe server is two weeks old. Oh God. I mean, cannot use auxiliary lots on defense. I guess I could, cause she just goes and use her <laughs> auxiliary lots. She just uses the team wide silence. I don't think it has a hundred percent chance. God. Yo, I don't even need any skill ups. This is insane. Fifty percent chance. This goes up to 75% chance. If you have to get his Ancient Book, man, you can attack the whole team and deal some damage, silence them. I mean, if they don't, if they don't have immunity, and then you get the extra turn, you just give that to your cleaver. So you can even have your cleaver on uh, Eliha's knife to. Uh, and you would have dealt some damage to the enemy team. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so crazy. Two turn cooldown. This is like lot. It's like lot. But increase attack is just like a game changer, man. It's a game changer. Auxiliary Lots is so amazing. I've got to pull all, put all my speed on her. That's that's the goal now. Farm speed. Farm speed. 
it doesn't matter what if I have some jewelry with like flat held, flat whatever. The main stat is you just get as much speed as possible, drop it on her, and just get turn one. Give the turn to Chaos X. Make him ultra fast. Like you can make your hero super slow. You don't even have to worry about speed. And God, it game changing hero. Like I give the turn to Chaos X. Right. He already has this gear, like, <laughs> look, like, look at his gear. Uh, I mean, that's his stats. This is maxed out, right? So I kill someone, and then I blow up the next uh, biggest threat, whoever's left with this thing. And they're both dark. I mean, it doesn't matter. Lots doesn't matter. Lots doesn't matter uh, in terms of what element she is, auxiliary lots. He will just blow up one or more targets and then it's over it's kill three whoever's left standing and that's it man i i don't even need l's fist because i'm gaining turn one so i need to go with uh whatever to get me some extra damage i need to get that uh, tonfa <laughs> to power up tonfa just to squeeze a bit more damage out of him but that's the thing though like you can go ultra slow with uh, as much attack and crit damage as possible. Of course, you need 100% crit chance, but even without 100% crit chance, realistically, you just need to down someone. So if it's like, I don't know, 80% chance, still fine. I'll just, I'll manage to kill someone. And then I, I uh, just blow the, the, the next biggest threat with uh, skill 3. Like, there's some piece here with a bit too much speed, like this, too much survival. But they rolled quite well, they rolled quite well. But now I can really go all out on him in terms of uh, offensive damage. That is insane. Like, I did not roll a cleaver, but I was fortunate enough to get Chaos Egg Axe. Now that's crazy, like, pulling first pull, Church of Ariel's Axe, second pull, Church of Ariel's Axe, third pull, Auxiliary Lots. That is very, very, very hard to beat. So yeah, Tonfa squeezed out a bit more damage. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. If, you, if I don't get turn one though, what's going to happen against the speed team is that the Vildred's going to blow up Auxiliary Lots and then my whole team's going to die. So it's... That's the issue. That's the <laughs> that's the biggest issue. The thing that's amazing with auxiliary lots is that she gives combat readiness, and hero like ML Bell cannot cut in, which is a huge deal. But there's not that many ML Bell on this server. Yeah. So let let me check her stats. What is her speed though? 112 my god i thought it was okay but i didn't think it was that high that is that is very good that's way better than i thought she's gonna scale extremely well with uh, a speed set so i guess i'm gonna have to five star auxiliary lots because i need to get some a bit of survival in case i lose turn one and uh, yeah, just drop all my speed on her. It should work out. It's just I don't have that much speed. I just don't. I'll show you my ability. I mean, that's not the skill I would use, of course, to start the battle. Definitely all about this one. Now, what do I need to awaken this hero? 
hopefully there's no speed on the sixth, fifth or sixth. That would be uh, very unfortunate. Okay, that's good. Oh no, the fifth. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I've got to get. I have to get that with speed set. That's that comes out to five speed. So yeah, uh, side project, but <laughs> she's she's gonna be in there. I need to uh, I need to work on that for sure. God. Like even if I lose turn one. I get outsped. Just gonna have to make her tanky. But then if you get outsped, sometimes like there's, you could be disrupted. Could have a debuff on my Chaos X. And he might not deal his full damage. Still an insane pickup. Insane. <laughs> Like most mage have pretty high defense, it's just their health is not so high. Yeah. Even if I decide to use her on defense, I mean, I would need some heavy skill ups in there. That's quite a huge deal, though. If she goes first, even on defense, she's dark, so there's no elemental disadvantage. And then the 75% chance to silence, man, that's that's really good. And it, it's silenced for two turns. That's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Then I'm not sure how this interacts, like on the uh, on auto, how the uh, artificial int intelligence, the AI, how does it handle the skill? Is it is it gonna be like Tywin? Whoever is closest to 100% combat readiness is gonna get that, or maybe? I mean, if you guys know, let us know in the comment section if if she uses that on auto on uh, the highest attack hero on the team, that that would be uh, so good. That would be so good. And the thing is, she would use that. Chaos X would use his skill three, and then on the next pass, she would use that on Chaos X if he's the one that would receive it. And yeah, I mean, I could test it, but I think that's that's gonna be it for this one. I'll get back to you guys on that. And Chaos Psychax, I mean, Exorcist Tonfa, I guess that's the artifact I'm gonna be wearing just to get that extra bit of damage. Wow. Hellcutter is. It's not going to be good enough. Tonfa is much better. And that... Uh, that is for single attacks. Doesn't work for his uh, skill 3. And there's also... Portrait of the Saviors. But, I mean, that's... It's going to take a while before this shows up. In our challenge in Europe. Oh, wow, man. That was insane. Couldn't believe I pulled her. Alright. Alright. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Like, comment, subscribe for more. Press the bell icon for like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And check out my other videos. They should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all sorts. Arena. Guild Wars. Guide tips and how-tos and Abyss Floor 62 Plus. So check those out if you haven't. And also uh, Europe progression. Well, Europe early progression. A uh, bunch of tips. I mean, how many tips are in my uh, four tips videos? Uh, also for progression, like that. Yeah, that, that, there must be like at least 50. Because most videos, like all videos, was 10 plus. Some of them like was like 15. I've got like 50 or 60 tips plus in there. So check those out if you haven't, guys. And Europe is a lot of fun. Two weeks old. Still time to come in here fresh. Uh, start a new account and just do some re-rolling. It's worth it. Take your time. I mean, there's no rush. Global is is more than six weeks old. So if you're starting out, Europe is the, is the best, really. Uh, population might go down with time, but... Uh, 
I mean, in PvP, uh, you can rank up higher, get better rewards more easily. Global, man, it's it's really rough if you're starting out now. Um, especially if you're not planning to spend anything. If you're going to be a free-to-play player, it's, it's definitely going to be rough compared to uh, Europe. All right, that's really it for this one. Peace out for now, guys.